In my next videos, I'll be showing you how to remove the carburetor, clean it, and rebuild it in the Weed Eater grass trimmer. First of all, you got to remove these two Allen screws here. The grid in there you need to remove. Once you remove the air filter and the grid, there's two more Allen screws to be removed here. So now you'll need to remove the air filter housing from the back with the two screws. Now on this one here, the fuel lines are rotted right through. It just came off. So after we're done rebuilding the carburetor, we're going to have to replace the fuel lines. Now we're going to start by taking the carburetor apart. Now the cover is just going to pop off and here's the pump diaphragm. You can remove that just by peeling it off. And the screen is missing. There's supposed to be a screen in there. Now I'll remove the other side and you just remove these four screws. And now this part here is just going to pop off as well and this is the metering diaphragm and it's very very stiff so usually when they're stiff like that they need to be replaced you can remove this diaphragm by peeling it off and you can see there that the gas has varnicized a bit now here's a closer look at the metering diaphragm and when it's in your hands that's when you really see just what kind of shape it's in. This one here is very stiff like that so that's finished and this one here the pump diaphragm the little valves here are very stiff so it's not going to work good because it's going to be too stiff to operate in the fuel so we definitely know we need to replace it. Now that. if you're doing a complete rebuild on the carburetor you'll have to remove these two screws here and this one here which will remove the needle just simply remove the screw here and the whole needle assembly and the spring will come out with the pin here and there's the needle the needle here the tip you can see a worn ring on it there at the bottom so that indicates that it needs to be replaced as well so for that you would need a complete repair kit. Now we'll remove this little plate here. Now just pop the plate up. Now when you're cleaning this carb it's important to remove this gasket here because there's little holes in there and passages that need to be cleaned as well. It's also good to remove the adjusting screw on the carb so I have set my carburetor here and I'm going to spray it with some carb cleaner. You also want to get all the small holes in here. Wear some safety glasses because it can spray back up in your face. Spray some right in the holes in the carb. Same on this side here where the screen's missing. I'm going to spray a lot in there. And I'm going to spray some in the holes here. It's normal if you spray in this hole, it's going to come out the connector. That means that it's clean. And in the holes here. It's also good to remove all the black stuff that's built up on the carb inside here. So you're going to have to scrub this really good. You don't really want to use a screwdriver in there because it can cause damage. I've got a little wire brush that's really, really soft and I'm going to clean up all the black gasket stuff that's left here on the edge of the carb. Always move the wire brush away from the carb. Just keeps the dirt from going in the carb. And spray all that in there. Let your carburetor parts soak in the carb cleaner for a good hour or more, even a whole day if you want. You can even put these in a can with carb cleaner for an hour or so. 
Now I've got all the carburetor parts sprayed with carburetor cleaner. I'm going to let that soak. I'm going to come back in an hour and spray it again with carb cleaner just to wash off the dirt that the carb cleaner has softened up. Okay, our carburetor parts have been sitting here for a while. I'm just going to quickly spray them again. If there's a lot of dirt you can't get off from in there, you can always use your compressor. Now you want to make sure that everything is clean like that. There cannot be any dirt in these holes here. That's all clean and this as well. So that's what you want it to be all clean like that. In the next video I'll be putting a new carb kit in that carburetor and the fuel line and start it up and see if this thing runs or not. We'll see you then.